Hi there, this video is about the top 10 best solar panels in 2023. If you're planning to go solar soon, this would be a great video to watch. My name is John, I'm a solar professional with 15 years of experience in solar and storage. I run my solar home YouTube channel. So the top 10 solar panels that I'm gonna review today start at number 10. I have the SunPower 400 watt U-series panel, not to be confused with the SunPower Maxion 400 watt panel. At number nine, I have the Solaria 400 watt XT panel. At number eight, I have the Aptos 440 watt panel. At number seven, and there are two number sevens, I have the Jinko Eagle 400 watt panel, as well as the, the Longi Hymo 400 watt panel. At number six, we have the Qcell Cupic Duo G10 400 watt panel. At number five, we have the Trina Vertex 400 watt panel. Number four is the Silfab Elite 380 watt panel. Again, not to be confused with the regular Silfab 380 watt panel. At number three, we have the REC Pure Black Alpha 400 watt panel. At number two, the SunPower Maxion 400 watt panel. And at number one, we have the REC Alpha 430 watt pure black panel. I'm going to compare all these 10 panels based on these parameters, starting with power. So the power rating is at standard test conditions. Standard test conditions refer to the temperature, about 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit, the thickness of the air mass through which the light has to travel through, air mass of 1.5, and thirdly, the amount of radiation falling on the panel is 1000 watts per meter squared. Now, these conditions are really more akin to lab conditions and not to real life conditions. Next, the actual expected capacity of these panels in watts. This is classified by a figure known as NOCT or the nominal operating cell temperature and it's what you can actually expect these panels to produce in real life conditions in watts. That's number two. Number three, we will look at the efficiency of the panel. The efficiency refers to how much of the sun's energy actually gets converted into DC electricity. For example, if I'm looking at a panel and it's receiving about 100 watts of energy from the sun, if it's a 19% efficient panel, only 19 watts of that 100 watts of energy from the sun gets converted into electricity. A 20% a 20 efficiency panel will convert just 20 watts out of the 100 watts that fall on it. So why is efficiency important? Efficiency tells us how good these panels are in terms of converting energy into electricity. The more efficient the panel is, the better the panel is. Number two, it impacts the size of the panel. The more efficient panels are more compact. You can have more panels on your roof. Usually the more efficient panels are also longer lasting, have better warranties. Number four, we look at what the temperature coefficients of the panels are. The temperature coefficient tells you what percentage of power drop happens per degree rise in temperature. Yes, as the electronics inside the panel heat up, they become less efficient. And instead of producing 400 watts of, pa of the 400 watts of power, the power starts to decrease. The lower the number, the better the panel is. A minus 0.25%, a minus 0.24% better the temperature coefficient of minus 0.36. Now you'll be surprised to know that when you have panels on your roof, the panels are at a much higher temperature. Remember when you're out in a car in a hot day, it becomes much, much hotter inside the car. The same thing happens with your solar panels. The panels have a glass on top of them. They're up on your roof. The sun falls on them directly they become much, much hotter than their surrounding. Let's look at the effect of temperature on a solar panel. The figure on the left is the air temperature, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature of your panel, because it's behind glass and the sun shining on it, is already about 30 Fahrenheit higher. It's at about 80 Fahrenheit, which is more or less close to STC conditions. And assuming that the panel is getting full sun radiation and it's making 400 watts at 50 Fahrenheit outside temperature, this panel is making about 400 watts. And let's see what happens as the temperature slowly starts to creep up. As you can see, for every, degree, for every degree Fahrenheit that the panel goes up, you're losing about 2 watts of production. Your panel has already lost 25 watts of production with the outside air temperature being only at about 75 Fahrenheit. It's a pretty pleasant day. On a 90 Fahrenheit day, your, your panels are actually making closer to 300 and 58, 360 watts of energy compared to the rated capacity of 400. And on a hot day in California, when it's over 100 outside, your panels will be making 345, 46 watts. On the warranty, almost all the panels have the same warranty as in a 25 year product and production warranty. What's different is how much they guarantee in terms of energy production after 25 years. The SunPower Maxion and the REC Alpha, both the 400 and 430 watt panel, they promise to give you 92% of their energy capacity 
capacity even after 25 years. For example, a panel which is rated at 400 watts today after 25 years with a 92% power guarantee, it'll, it'll make 368 watts even after 25 years. All its peers, the Tinas, the Q-cells, the Jinkos, the Silfabs, all the other top 10 panels give you production guarantees in, in the 84, 85% range, which translates to a 400 watt panel after 25 years producing about 340 watts. So there is a significant difference between the top three panels and the rest of the top 10. Snow load refers to how much snow can sit in your panels without damaging them. All these panels have a minimum rating of at least 5,400 pascals, which is about 21 inches of snow. Some of the better plan some of the better panels have higher ratings. Similarly, the wind load that these panels can take care of, all of them are rated for at least 130 miles per hour. So they're good. All these panels are good across the US. But if you're looking for something slightly more, some of these panels have got better ratings. We'll go through them when, when we look at each individual panel. In terms of pricing for the top 10 uh, solar panels, there are three grades of prices. One is the top tier, which is the top three panels. They are the most expensive. Then you have the next five or six panel brands, which are all at the same price. And at the bottom, we have three shine so-called chinese panels which are slightly lower than the rest but the ratings of the chinese panels are actually better than some of their peers as you'll see during my comparison so let's start with panel number 10 which is the sun power u series 400 watt panel now sun power is a silicon valley based company they're about 35 years old so the oldest they're probably the oldest manufacturer of solar panels in the world today they are a top-notch company their boast is that they make the best panels in the world and yes their sun power maxion is at a number two due in, in this rating for the 2023 best solar panels but the sun power u series that we're looking at now this is not their best panel but remember this is the panel that most sun power dealers tend to offer you this panel is actually manufactured by a company called wari out of india it's a 400 watt panel it's rated at under stc conditions at 400 watts and if you look at noct conditions it's rated at 298 watts that is slightly less than some of its peers its efficiency is 20.2 percent the, the size of the panel is 76 inches into 41 inches the temperature coefficient of this panel is slightly higher than its peers at minus 0.37 percent the guaranteed production after 25 years is 85%, which is standard. Its snow load is 5,400 Pascal, which is about 21 inches again, which is standard for most solar panels. A wind load of 2,400 Pascal or 130 miles per hour. And in terms of pricing, it is overpriced. The SunPower U series is usually sold as a SunPower panel among the best panels in the world and they charge you an arm and a leg for it. Be careful, ask for a discount. They're asked giving you a SunPower U series panel because it's not as good as the other SunPower panels. At number nine, we have the Solaria XT panel. Solaria is again a Silicon Valley based company. They're doing well. They're small, upcoming, great management, great technology. This is their leading panel, the Solaria XT400. It's rated at 400 watts, STC, 295 watts at NOCT. It's got an efficiency of 20.2%. It's sized at 65 inches into 47. Its temperature coefficient is slightly on the higher side at minus 0.39%. Remember, the lower the number, the better it is in terms of the temperature coefficient. It's got a snow load of 5,400 pascals, which is similar to the other panels but it's got a higher wind rating of 3600 pascals and that means it's rated for winds of about 155 160 miles per hour and in terms of price this is a mid-priced panel at number eight i have the aptos 440 watt panel aptos is based out of silicon valley again small company like solaria doing well getting funded making excellent panels and making inroads into the u.s market now something to understand is that many of these manufacturers are u.s based and have manufacturing facilities here but the truth of the matter is sourcing of material or of all these top 10 panels is either coming from china vietnam thailand it's coming from all over the world from asia getting manufactured some part of it might get manufactured here in the u.s and almost all these panel manufacturers in this review have us based factories the aptos is rated for 440 watts it's got a noct rating of 330 watts which is reasonable it's a larger panel an 83 inches into 41 inch panel its efficiency is at 20.21 percent which is similar to the solaria xt as well as the sun power u series the temperature coefficient is at minus 0.36 percent which is again standard for these range of panels 
a warranty rating of 85% standard. The Aptos panel's claim to fame is their wind rating. They have a wind rating of 6,000 pascals, which is about 220 miles per hour. In Florida, Aptos is a very popular panel. In terms of snow load, they're standard at 5,400 pascal, which is about 21 inches. These are reasonably priced panels again, similar to all their peers. We have two panels at number seven. We have the Jinko Eagle 400 watts and we have the Longi Hymo 380 watt panel. Longi and Jinko are both humongous large solar panel manufacturers headquartered out of China. Longi is at about $16 billion of turnover and Jinko is about $6 billion. Jinko has facilities in Florida, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Longi has manufacturing in China, Vietnam, and Malaysia. The Jinko Eagle is at about 400 watts. STC 298 watts of NOCT. Longi is 380 watt in STC conditions and about 283 watts in NOCT conditions. They are both have efficiencies in the 20.9 range, 20.9 for the Longi and 20.96 for the Jinko. In terms of sizes, they have size of 69 and a 41 versus 69 and a 43 for the Jinko panel. Panel warranties are 85% after 25 years. Again, standard temperature 0.35% for the Longi and 0.34% for the Jinko. The Jinko panel has superior capacity both for snow load at 6,000 pascals or about 25 inches of snow and wind load capacity of 180 miles per hour. The Longi 380 watt HIMO panel has standard 5,400 pascals of snow load and 2,400 pascals of wind load. In terms of pricing, there is very little difference between these two panels. At number six, we have the Qcell G10 Plus 400 watt panel. This is one of the most popular panels in the US today. The Qcell panels are Korean made, but they are made in factories in the US. They are factories in multiple locations in the US. The Qcell GT 400 watt panel is the same panel that is sold by Tesla. You must have heard of Tesla solar panels. 400 watt solar panel is a Qcell panel. This is the same panel with the same specification. There are a couple more panels that Qcell makes. This is a 430 watt panel. This is also sold by Tesla as a Tesla 430 watt panel, but those are actually manufactured by Qcell. 20.4% efficiency, size of 74 into 41 inches, uh, temperature coefficient of point minus 0 0.0.34 slightly on the lower side which is good warranty after 25 years of 86 percent again marginally better than its peers but in the same range snow load of 5400 pascals which is about 21 inches great for all these panels and it has a higher wind rating of about 180 miles per hour or 4000 pascals in terms of pricing this is similar to most of its peers they are a little more expensive than their Chinese competitors. At number five, we have the Trina Vertex 405 watt panel. Trina is again a $10.7 billion humongous company manufacturing solar panels. This is their top rated panel for the residential market in the US. It's got an NOCT rating of 305 watts, which is great efficiency of 21.1%. All the top five panels have efficiencies of more than 21%. Size of 69 inches into 43, temperature coefficient of minus. 3.4%, 85%, warranty after 25 years, 6,000 pascals of snow load, that's about 25 inches of snow, and 4,000 pascals of wind load, again, about 180 miles per hour. And in terms of pricing, this will be among the lowest priced panels in in the top 10 market. Your best bet if you're looking for lower price panels, which are great quality, but make sure you're looking at the right model numbers because there are so many models available in the market that it's very easy for a solar company to come and give you some other panel and claim that it's a 21% efficient panel. Number four, we have the Silfab Elite 380 watt panel. Silfab is based out of Canada in the US. Excellent company, makes super panels, but gotta be careful because Silfab has another 380 watt panel, which is not called the Elite, which is not as good as the elite 380 watt panel. The elite panel has got a NOCT rating of 284 watts, which is higher in its in its category. 21.4% efficiency, which is very high. Anything over 21% is super. A size of 72 inches into 40. Temperature coefficient of minus 0.37%. A warranty rating of 85%, again, same as its peers. Snow load at about 5,400 pascals or 21 inches. It's got a higher rated wind capacity of 4,000 pascals, which is about 180 miles per hour. In terms of pricing, it's comparable to the Q-cells, the Silfab, the Aptoses, the Solarias. At number three, we have the REC Alpha 400 watt panel. This was the number one panel for the last two years running. It's been taken over by a new number one panel, which is again from REC Alpha, which is a 430 watt panel. REC is 
based out of Norway. Their manufacturing happens in Singapore. They have outstanding technology. Their NOCT STC ratings are higher than their peers. The 405 watt panel is rated 309 watts, usually a 400 watt panel. 405 watt panel would be rated 300 or 302 watts but with the rec alpha you get 309 watts in normal operating conditions 21.9 percent size of 72 inches into 40 inches the rec panels handle temperatures way better than their peers its temperature coefficient is minus 0.26 which is amongst the lowest on all the top 10 panels you are seeing today in terms of their warranty again the best in the business 92 percent after 25 years snow load and wind load again they blow it away 7000 pascals of snow load for the rec panels that's close to 28 29 inches of snow and wind loads of 4000 pascals again 180 miles per hour wind rated and these are slightly more expensive for two we have the sunpower maxion 420 watt panel sunpower's maxion series of panels are their more efficient panels and if you can see they have an efficiency of 22.5 percent temperature coefficient of 0.29 percent which is slightly lower than the which is slightly higher than the 0.26 percent coefficient of the rec panels 92 percent energy guarantee after 25 years the sunpower maxion has a snow load of about 25 inches of 6,000 pascals and a wind load of about 155 miles per hour and it is the most expensive panel in the market today more expensive than the rec panels too and finally at number one we have the rec alpha 430 watt panel this is clearly the best panel in the world today it's rated at 430 watts stc it's got a nocd performance rating of 327 watts an efficiency of 22.7 percent the temperature coefficient is the lowest in the market of point minus 0.24 percent a warranty of 92 percent after 25 years snow load capacity of 7000 pascals which is about 28 inches which is again amongst the highest available in the market today wind load of 4000 pascals or 180 miles per hour hurricane winds it is slightly more expensive than its peers but this is money well spent in my opinion today this is the best panel worth all the money you pay for it i hope you like the video thank you for watching do like and subscribe and have a great day